Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will see what is the use of combo box while designing any application. Now let's begin. So this is the application interface I designed to demonstrate the use of combo box. We will see the required controls that is three labels and one text box, one combo and four commands I placed. Now we will change the properties of these controls. So this is label 1, the caption I'll give as enter an item and the label 2 is list of item. For label 3, I'm going to display only the count, so I'm just emptying it. For text box, I'll erase the content and the properties of combo 1. Here, there is uh, some properties you have to concentrate on this. So the name, you can change the name of the combo 1 so to some other name. So it will be using in your program. So you can change the font size and this list. So with the help of this list only, you will be adding the items at design time. So we can add the items to the combo box in two ways at the design time and at the running time. So whatever the items you want to display it, it you can enter it and you can save it to the combo one. And this index shows the index value of each and every item you have added to your combo box. And the style. So with the help of the style, you can change the style of your combo box. That is drop down combo, simple combo and drop down list. And this text. So this text is used to display the uh, name to the combo one. So if like uh, select the course, select the semester, likewise whatever the uh, content you want to display on the combo box, you can type it in this text property. If you don't want to type anything, you can keep as a combo 1 or else you can just empty it. So I'll keep combo 1 only. And these are the four comments. We'll change the caption of these comments. So I'll give first as add and the second command for removing for third command is to clear the list and the fourth command is to exit now I'll change the background color of these three labels so to select multiple controls just hold the control key and select each and every item. Now you can see that three items are selected. Now go to back color and give the same color as the form background. So now I had changed. Now we'll do coding for that. So just double click on this form. So we'll get a form load event. So you can load some items as soon as you can execute, you can see those items. So for that purpose, I'm just adding it. This is called as runtime adding items. So combo one dot add items a method to add the items. And as I'm adding string, you can enclose in double quotation. Apart from saying you are adding some numbers means you don't have to specify the double quotation. So I'll just copy the statement. And how many items you want to display it, you can just type it. I'm adding five items. I'll change the item names. And two numbers. Now we'll display the Content that is the list of the items. Label three dot caption equals to number of items. And give a concatenation operator that is ampersand. 
and call the method combo one dot list count. So this is about form load. Now go back and click on this exit command and type unload me. So it will return back to the program. And for clearing, we'll invoke the clear method that is combo one dot clear. Again, display the count of your list. So I'll copy this statement and paste it here. So this will keep count of my list. For adding text one dot enabled equals to true. If text one dot text is not equals to mg then combo one dot add item space text one dot text so whatever value i had entered in my text box it will get stored to the list after storing i'll just make the text box as empty and suppose your text box is empty we have to pop up a message that enter an item to be added so end your if condition we need to set the focus back to the text box. So set focus enter. Now I can display the count caption equals to number of items equals to so combo one dot list count now finally we'll do it for the remove command so text one dot enabled equals to make it false so we have to select the items to be removed so if combo one equals to if my combo one contain combo one because i did not change the name caption of my combo box close it or it is empty suppose combo one equals to empty then we need to pop up a message that select the item to be removed enter and we need to specify one more condition one dot list index with the help of this index value only we are checking the condition and adding item then enter combo one dot we have to specify the remove method that is remove item space combo one dot list index so this statement this statement removes whichever uh, items you have selected currently. Again, we we'll specify the list count. Now, finally, end your if statement. So, this is all about coding. We'll just execute and check it. So, this is the outlook of our program. Here, you can see that as we have added five items at the runtime, it will display the number of items as five. You can check here. So, see here five items are present here. For that purpose only, it is showing us five.
if you want to add item so i did not enter any values in the text box i just give add it will pop up a message that enter an items to be added okay i'll give bsc then add my count is incremented to 6 so here you can check the bsc is added at the end if i want to remove See here the select the items to be removed you cannot type here as my text box is disabled you cannot type you can go here and select the item to remove and give remove it is removed the count is decremented to 5 if you want to clear this entire list you can give us clear command so the so count is reduced to 0 here none of the items are present so again we can add Sorry. And the two items I had added here you can see that add and BCA. I select BCA and remove it is removed and the remaining is add and you can clear and you can exit. This is the purpose of combo box. You can add the items, you can remove it and you can clear the list. So with the help of all the list index only we are using it and you can invoke, invoke whichever method you want to use it. I hope this video would be helpful for you. If you are watching my channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Bye bye. Take care.